Hey guys, Tamna here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Gane Amber Solar Sunscreen. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So this is what the packaging looks like. And when you take it out of the packaging, this is what the product looks like. The first thing I want to do is to read out the product claim. So this claims to absorb instantly. It won't leave you with a greasy finish or a white cast. It is non-comedogenic. It is fragrance free, it prevents dark spots and it is anti-eye stinging. So I'm going to do a hand swatch first so that you guys can see. See what hair looks like now. It looks like I have nothing on my skin. At first it looked like it had a shine, but now see, there's nothing there. It's almost mad. In fact, it is mad. Okay, so let's see how this is going to look like on my face. So I just did my morning routine and the first thing I applied is this as my toner, this as my serum, this as my moisturizer. What is left is for me to apply sunscreen. Um, so I have my spoon here to measure my sunscreen. My skin is not shiny, not glowy, nothing. All right, time to apply. Second one. Now let me scoop what is left. Okay, so I'm done. Oh, is this thing be eyes? Okay, it doesn't sting the eyes, all right. This is what I look like after applying the sunscreen. Guys, I'm getting the same result I got from the hand swatch on my face. This leaves me with a soft matte finish. So basically, I feel like I have nothing on my skin. It's not heavy, it's lightweight. Let me um, talk a bit about the texture and the finish of this sunscreen. So this sunscreen is a running inconsistency. When applying it to your skin, it kind of um, feels really hard to rubbing, but then when you're done rubbing, it dries down to a soft matte finish. So it's getting kind of sunny here. Who is this sunscreen best recommended for? On the packaging here, it states that it is formulated to protect all skin tones. So it doesn't necessarily say what skin type it's for, but I feel like all skin types and all skin tones can use this sunscreen. Um, if you have like dry skin and you feel that like this is too mattifying for you, make sure you moisturize really well, then go in with this sunscreen. If you have combination to oily skin, acne prone skin, you're going to love, love, love this sunscreen. So what are the sunscreen filters? This contains avobenzone, octosalate, tinotop S, Ovenol T150, Mexoril XL, Mexoril SX. Price and quantities. So this is a 40 ml sunscreen. This retails for about seven pounds up. I got mine off Look Fantastic for 12 pounds. I'm gonna leave links in the description box so that you can get this for cheaper. So it's this fragrance free, let's check it out. This smells like sunscreen. At first you do get this slight alcohol scent that does fade off really fast. Because it contains alcohol, I don't find this drying on my skin, just so you know. All right, so guys, I'm gonna come back in about two hours to reapply this sunscreen and also put makeup on it to test if this um, applies well on makeup. So guys, it's been two hours since I applied this sunscreen and this is what my face looks like. You know, honestly, there's no single shine. I ought to have shine on my t-zones but nothing at all so now i want to reapply this sunscreen because i have to head out and um it's best to do that now i think i'm going to apply makeup on this after reapplying so i have the amount oops 
Nu kommer Brutus. So I'm going to give it some time to go in before I head out, but it has absorbed well. I am not shiny. My skin feels soft. Here's what my face looks like. I want to go get my um, powder because I'm going to be applying powder foundation. So guys, you guys will notice that um, <laughs> the sunlight is leaving and my background is getting darker. Um, anyway, I'm going to come forward now so you guys can see my face. Complexion product surely will work well on this sunscreen. Like I do have this powder foundation and it looks great. Um, I'm heading out now. I don't know if I'll be back on or before 4 p.m. But if I am, I'll show you guys what my face looks like. If not, I will just leave a comment on the screen while editing or in the description box to let you guys know how, if I got oily or not using the sunscreen as base without a primer. I hope that makes sense. Um combination skin type oily skin type acne prone skin type just go get yourself this sunscreen like you're gonna love it it's really just lightweight it feels like i have nothing on aside the fact that it contains alcohol which it doesn't feel dry on the skin if you don't like sunscreens that contain alcohol then you just have to skip this one um in terms of smell i said it that it's <laughs> it's fragrance free just ignore my nose picking up how it smells like sunscreen Overall guys, I love this sunscreen. This is another sunscreen that I purchased and I'm so happy about it. Um, I feel like this is a good dupe for the, um, um, uh, what do you call it, La roche -Bussy's, um Antilles Fluid Sunscreen. I think I'll compare this with the um, La roche -Bussy one. If you want me to compare this sunscreen with the La roche -Bussy one, do leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, also, let me know if you've tried out this sunscreen or the La roche -Bussy one in the comment section. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found my video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.